Hi, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today's video is a highly requested video and it is my Lagos jewelry collection. And I don't have a very large collection so I decided to throw in my John Hardy collection and share that as well. And also my one Bulgari piece because that's all I have of that. <laughs> if you like these kind of videos and you haven't done so already, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below. And let's get started and let's start with Lagos. So something interesting to note about Lagos is it's actually a privately held company. And Stephen Lagos started the company in um, 1977. Have to look down at my notes on that one. And it's still privately held to this day. So the first pieces I picked up were bracelets. And I'm actually gonna show you them on the bracelet roll that I store them on. So maybe it will be a little bit easier to see them. So they're all caviar bracelets. The clasp on all of them is gonna be like this. And then let me show you them individually. So this one has the sterling silver bars in between. Um, all of the caviar and it's a little bit more uh, high polished. So I have this one also with the bars in between. The caviar is much tighter pattern on this one and it is also more oxidized. So here's to compare them next to each other. And this is the original one. Um, there's no bars on this one. It is just completely plain caviar all the way around. And so how they open, there's a little push pull on this, a little push tab, and this just goes down in there like so. And the other two, well, yes, the other two both have it where you do it on both sides. The original one only has the one clasp. This one has where you squeeze both sides and pull to open it. They're very, very comfortable, very flexible. They are, however, very, very heavy. I am not somebody who complains about bracelet weight ever. And I bought these three to wear together, stacked together and um, they are really heavy when you have all three of them on. And I will show you what that looks like and how I usually wear them. And the last one. The three together are really, really, really heavy. Beautiful, beautiful, chunky look. I love them together. I do wear the three together, but they are heavy. <laughs> then the other piece from Lagos that I have, this is my only necklace that I have, and it is the heart key and it is on a really, really long chain. This is actually the back side, see where it says Lagos. Then the front side just has the L. Just on a really long, long beaded chain. You can open the chain right here. Kind of reminds me of like an old whistle chain when you were a kid. <laughs> it just has that little clasp that you can take the bead out of. And um, I do sometimes wear this doubled around my neck, but I'll show you the side details if I can. Get my camera to focus on that. Let's try this. So there's caviar beading on the sides as well. This is the little L on the key and um, 
Just absolutely love this necklace. It just has a lot of detail, I think, to it. Then for earrings, I only have two pairs of Lagos earrings. This pair I got last year, um, I think it was from a Nordstrom Rack sale. And let's see if I can hold these up. They're semi hoops in the caviar pattern. They're absolutely beautiful. And the nice thing about them is they have these huge butterfly black backs on them. So they're very, very easy to get on and off. And the posts are also 14 karat gold. And I don't know that I'll be able to zoom in enough, but it says Lagos Caviar at the bottom there. And just to show you the earring. Again, it's a little easier to hold just one. But yeah, these are just really, really, really pretty. And then my newest pair, I just got a couple of weeks ago. And these I got from Neiman Marcus. And they remind me a lot of the Dior um, Tribals or Tribels. I'm not sure how you say that exactly. But they're caviar uh, balls with pearl studs. And show them to you apart. And the, the pearl studs have 14 karat posts on them. And the balls are caviar all the way around. And they're very nice pearls. Very luminous. Very pretty. And these really look nice in the ear. They make a really good um, statement, I think. Hard to hold round earrings. <laughs> there we go. And then for Bulgari, I just thought I would share this because I only have the one piece. Um, this is from their uh, Save the Children collection and a part of the proceeds does go to uh, charity. And it is sterling silver with black ceramic. And I got it to go with my um, Chanel J12 watch. And it says Bulgari around on both sides. And this is very similar to their designs. They have an 18 karat gold, um, except for, of course, much less expensive. And let me show you the clasp on this. It's very unique. So it goes around this little ball. And the ball does say save the children on it, or a little circle, I guess it's not a ball. Get that, there we go. And so there's that, and then there's two other circles on the ends of them. And it does not go in those, it hangs on either side of them. So that you can adjust it to any length that you like, which I think is really neat. Let me show you it. I'll just put it in the middle. Let's see how it hangs. So really love this piece. It comes in a bracelet um, and also there is a ring as well. Very, very pretty little piece. Okay, and now let's get to um, John Hardy. So John Hardy was founded um, in 1971 and it was created by John Hardy. The company was actually sold in 2007 and um, he is no longer with the company. And um, I also quit buying about that time too. So these are older pieces for the most part. Um, I'll show you the bracelets again on the um, bracelet bar. This is the first piece I ever got. This is called the Naga, and it has a lot of 18 karat gold here on the front. And then kind of, it's um, supposed to be like dragon scales. And these are handcrafted in Bali. I don't know if they still are, but they were when I purchased uh, my pieces. And this was actually, a Mother's Day gift one year from my husband and my daughters. So absolutely love this one. You can see a little more detail maybe this way. Just 
beautiful, beautiful piece. And it opens the same as the um, Lagos, the two little, pinch the two little clips in, and then it goes in the other side, and then you can see the 18 karat gold on that one. And then the next one that I got, um, this one has four little stations, all with 18 karat gold. To get it up on the black part might be a little easier there. And this one's like more of a woven, uh, very, very smooth woven chain and very comfortable. And again, the three of these together are also extremely heavy. <laughs> but I don't know, I like wearing bracelets in um, sets of three. So the clasp on this one is beautiful. It has five little dots in the 18 karat gold. And then as you continue down the bracelet, each station has the 18 karat gold on it. And then this, the end cap there. And then the last piece that I got is part of the dot collection. And the clasp has the 18 karat gold with the dots and just the smooth bracelet again. And it opens again the same way. Very, very comfortable, very flexible. And let me show you what these three look like stacked together. So this is what they look like on my wrist. And I always wear the Naga in the center because it is the biggest and the most chunky. But I really like these together a lot. And the next piece that I got, um, actually was the same when I got the Naga, um, is a ring. And it was also from Mother's Day. And it's part of, um, it was a part of a trunk show that we had in our area. And it has the 18 karat gold dots all over that one. And even the sides are so intricate. The way that they designed that, just a beautiful, beautiful ring. You can see the detail, the dots go all the way around the bottom. And then the sides are woven. And then that's a better shot with the gold. You can really see it there. Just absolutely love this ring with the bracelets. Very pretty. And then the last two pieces I have, I have a necklace and it opens the exact same way, except for there's only one little pull tab on the necklace. And this one has the 18 karat gold dots on it too. They don't do quite as much 18 karat, and I believe they're starting to do some plated pieces. So I kind of stopped buying. It wasn't, uh, I got the pieces that I wanted. But there's what the chain looks like. And this one is 20 inches long and very, very flexible again and very comfortable. And the last piece is the dot enhancer. Probably one of my most favorite pieces. Just absolutely love this. Let me show it to you on the necklace. It does open in the back on a little hinge, um, but depending on the width of your necklace, I can actually slide this one through quite easily. So here it is on the chain. Really, really pretty piece, and I think it looks nice with the ring. It kind of all ties in together. Well, thank you so much for watching another video, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you back on my channel again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.